change, it's not driven by character development. It's the same old you, Henry. You've been saying things like that for 20 years. Yeah, well, that's why I got out. Sorry, that's all I had to write. I used to think you meant them, too. <laughs> now I know different. No, I, I do. I, I wish so deeply that you would change. Let's change the channel, Henry. Okay. Something's come up. Sure. Something always seems to come up. <sighs> Judy Miller. Mm-hmm. She's... I mean, she's not excellent, but she's... she tries. You know that's why I'm here, Henry. I do now. And a moment ago, it became pretty clear. If you, if you have a problem with Judy Miller... Honestly... I, I, I cannot imagine what it is. Henry, please. Look, I'm here, I'm listening, I quit writing, I don't know what more you want from me. You have two courses, and relatively few students in each. Agreed. Uh, let's focus, please, on okay. the issue. Yes, I would love to focus instead on the fact that funding has been cut for the arts, but we can focus on whatever the issue is with Judy Miller. I understand. Good. It's a point of great frustration for me, as I am sure you are well aware. Yes, please. I understand she's brought in a new version. Yeah, she did. She's been um, editing pretty aggressively. I had some significant notes for her uh, for her piece. Um, she thought that it should just be a short story, but I think that there's enough in there that if she flushes out the world a little bit, she could get at least a novella. She brought one to me as well. Okay, that's great. I'm glad she's been very nervous about sharing her work in class. Um, I, I don't understand why this is a problem. Like I know, again, she's not the greatest student I have, but... A third. A third revision? I would not recommend that she go full novel. Uh, not at this time. Her skills are not, she's not ready to publish on that scale. Henry, she's trying. Yes, she is. She she has great ideas. She has this wonderful gift for just building and developing worlds, but her, her technical skill for bringing that artistry to the page just is lacking, you know? It's just not there yet. It's not bad. It's longer. Most it's getting better. novels are longer. Um, I'm glad that she's Filling the material. What is this about, though? Like it's now at least a play. Is it? All right. That would make an interesting play. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna let it slide. That does not fulfill the requirements of the course, but I'm gonna let it slide. Sometimes we're in a classroom. This is a school with children. I smoke, Henry, when I find myself caught in the middle of something. Which seems to be the case a great deal lately with this job. Sure, could you not be caught in my classroom? Like, I, I have to work. Sometimes I wish I could. <laughs> okay. Nobody forced you to come here. Nobody forced you to take this position. You win. 
I don't want to win. I just want to survive. Now let me win one. Take it away. Honestly, I'm not going to play your villain. Have you considered partial credit? For the play? Sure, yeah. I, I was honestly going to give her full credit. Like I said, it doesn't fulfill the requirements of the course. She's supposed to write a short story, but I already pushed her towards the novella, so the fact that she developed a play instead, like, that's the that's the stone I started rolling and gathered moss, or snowball. She's a senior. She needs to graduate. Yeah, she does. Uh, I don't think she's yet decided where she wants to study, but... Henry, I'm sorry, but this thing is, ga is gathering a lot of attention. The play is? It's created quite the stir. This is one of those reverse psychology. You're telling me to, to fail her, only give her partial credit, so that she doesn't graduate even though she needs... What Do you want to, like... You want to debut her play. You want to debut her play at the school. That is some fucked up shit. You're gonna... May I have the ashtray back, please? No. I would like it back, Henry. I don't want to have ash all over your floor. I don't want you to smoke in my room, and I don't want to fail my student so that you can debut a play. I don't want you in my room. I don't want you coming here to just breathe hot fire down my neck whenever you feel like it and act like I'm inconveniencing you. I would leave the door closed, Henry. Open the window if you want. This is private. I did leave the door closed. And then I opened it to let you in. Have you given any thought to your low enrollment? So much. I don't know. We have it in the course catalog. We promote it at the student fair every summer. But the budget keeps slipping and slipping. The provost thinks there might be another reason. Yeah? I have also considered that there might be another reason. Are you sabotaging me? No. It's something else. Then I don't know what. I mean, the material's good. It's, it's fine. And people like writing. People like doing art. On my chart tray? There have been complaints about you, Henry. Okay. Whatever. Over the years, students have complained that you're biased. Towards good work? Yeah. I like quality work, and I know it, and I see it, and a lot of people don't like being told that their art is not sufficient. Prejudice, Henry. I mean, I like the Oxford comma, if that's what you're talking about. Anti-Semitic, Henry. What? No! No, not, uh not at all. There's been a pattern of complaints. A pattern of complaints of anti-Semitism. And also, this is the first I'm hearing about it? That's wildly unprofessional on your part, and also ludicrous to think that I'm an anti-Semite. I am a Semite! I think you make certain remarks in class, which the students pass on. Please cite them if you know them, because I don't know what you're talking about. I agree. I did tell one person that if they were going to cry, they should go to the Wailing Wall, but that is just funny. It's not anti-Semitic. I, I think you're right. Thank you. That's the first time you've called me funny in the last four years. Hold on, Henry. I... He, re he resigned because he was guilty, Henry. I know why John resigned, and to draw a parallel between John and I is far from the same. I think you make certain remarks. Like, at that curriculum meeting last fall, you told that joke? Yeah, it was the same joke about the Wailing Wall. And it was funny. People laughed. No one was laughing, Henry. I was laughing, so you're objectively wrong. And no one was laughing at, at, at lunch when you went on that diatribe against Israel. 
I mean, there, is, there are valid complaints, and the fact that we believe that you cannot criticize Israel without criticizing the Jewish people is problematic in its own right. I'm Jewish, Henry. Yeah, neat, I know. Well, I am. I am as well. And so is Judy Miller. Okay, that should not be relevant to whether or not she passes, or why you are trying to have me hold her back so you can produce her play or the fact that she is writing a play instead of a short story in my class. I think, just so there's no misunderstanding, it might be a good idea to give Judy Miller a grade for what she's done. I'm going to pass her. She is going to get a good grade if she writes a good play. I don't care about your weird political bullshit. That's not my job. I think so. My job is to produce competent writers who are producing material that they can be proud of. I don't care if I like it, I don't care if you like it, I care that it is something that they can stand by. 